Okay, what I'll try and demonstrate is the, is the uh, assisted uh, pressure technique of making macro blades. It's a highly specialized uh, technique, and it's uh, uh, common uh, throughout Mesoamerica during the uh, um, pre-Columbian, and it, it was observed by Spanish uh, explorers. And it's also uh, very common in uh, the uh, Near and Middle East and uh, North Africa. Uh, these are some of my tools that I use. Uh, it's not the only type of tools. Uh, the, uh, I have uh, logs here that uh, with concavities I, I made for anchoring the cores in. Uh, notice there are different sizes of uh, holes for different sizes of cores. Uh, these are my um, uh, pressure stakes. Uh, it's just the uh, Karagana limb and with a, uh, uh, a piece of plywood and it swivels. So I can just uh, uh, turn the uh, stick to whatever uh, 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 side I feel comfortable with. The uh, tip is, uh, is, uh, of the uh, uh, stick is uh, antler. It's a deer antler. and. Uh, it's made from the uh, densest part, uh, the part that uh, attaches to the uh, head of the deer. And I've uh, put a copper, uh, a copper a co a coupling around so because uh, there's so much pressure that uh, the, um, uh, it would tend to split the stick. Uh, I wanted to, uh, to create ridges along which I would uh, strike off the first uh, blade. So here's a ridge. Uh, this ridge is not very good because the angle here is uh, greater than 90 degrees and uh, obsidian is very slippery. So if I put the uh, pressure on here, this, uh, my uh, stick will just uh, slide off it. So here's another uh, uh, good platform and here's another platform. I've already removed some uh, um, macro bleeds from uh, this core. Uh, I'm not uh, comfortable with the uh, core itself because uh, if you notice, uh, there is a uh, hump uh, towards the uh, distal end of the core, and uh, the pressure has to. Uh, if I want to remove uh, the successfully a um, macro blade, the uh, pressure has to follow a straight line or else a uh, concave curve. Not a, here it goes to a straight line and then uh, there's a depression here and then goes up. So uh, uh, I'm avoiding this uh, area for now and I've, uh, I'll remove blades from here and also from here where the uh, configuration of the core is uh, to my liking. And on this side, the angle is greater than 90 degrees, so uh, it's, uh, uh, I'll have to work uh, the platform back in here. When I get to a few flakes uh, removed, uh, the blades uh, that I want to remove have a, uh, uh, is it a trapezoidal uh, cross section where I have two ridge, uh, uh, ridges from previous uh, uh, flakes or blades removed? This is a core that I like to produce blades from because it has many facets. And I could see uh, here's a nice uh, uh, set of facets, and I can uh, visualize a um, blade, macro blade, uh, running down this length. It has a nice uh, uh, pl uh, prepared platform already. I, I'll grind it a little bit more. And I think I prepared one uh, on this side. But this is what uh, I would uh, aim for. Here's the uh, macro blade core from uh, Georgetown Flint. I, th I could st uh, still remove more uh, blades from it, as long as I have enough uh, surface area to uh, apply pressure on. But it has a nice uh, ridges. But towards the end of the um, um, the core reduction process, the blades tend to uh, 
uh, break off short and take off uh, some of the distal end of the, of the core. I should mention that uh, uh, these uh, three trays of material were all from this uh, one core. And uh, it's a very um, uh, effective uh, way of uh, maximizing your, your uh, cutting edge. I'll prepare the uh, platform on this core from which I st struck off a uh, macro blade by, uh, with a bat baton. I like this angle much better because uh, it's, it's, I would say it's almost about 50 degrees. And you know, the uh, point of my pressure stick will sit in it, it'll grab. I have just, just have to roughen off the surface so it, uh, the uh, pressure stick won't slide. And so the larger the contact surface, uh, the uh, greater the uh, force that's required to uh, release the uh, blade from the core. And as, as some of the um, Middle East uh, macro blades do show uh, evidence of copper, uh, that copper was used as a tip for the uh, tool. except it's not parallel sided. And it's uh, quite typical of the early stage of blade production or where you, uh, you're not at a point yet where your facets are nice and regular. <laughs> 